Hello my beautiful Pisces, welcome back to the Lucky Tarot. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm excited to read your energies. So this reading is for Pisces Sun Moon Rising, love and relationship reading. Before we jump right into your tarot messages, I invite you guys for a quick meditation session with me. So I have for you soul cards one and two. I'm going to be getting one card from this deck for you guys and one card for the other person with this deck. So how we're going to do this is that um, just get a pen and a paper if you guys want to write down what you see, describe what you see. These are powerful images for insight and also getting some answers and clarity. So think of a person in mind. Pause this video if you want to. Write down what you see. If it doesn't make sense the first time, you can come back to it a few days later. Give it time to settle in your psyche, okay? So let's get one card for the other person. They do not have any preconceived meanings, by the way. Just let your intuition speak to you. This is very good for activating your intuition as well. So it will evoke a different response from one Pisces to another, okay? There's no right or wrong answer. So here we go, Pisces. This is your card. I'm trying to get that to focus. There we go. And this is for the other person. This is really good for activating the intuition as well. And quickly, together, a close up, beautiful images. Okay. All right, so if you guys want to share what you could come up with in your meditation session, please let me know in the comment section. I truly enjoy reading them. So Pisces, let's start with your reading. I'm going to get one oracle card. Pisces, all right. There's a lot. I'm not going to get that. One card, please, for Pisces, May 25th to the 31st. Regeneration. Beautiful. This talks about healing something, a relationship or yourself. Oops, sorry for that. Yeah, this could really talk about healing something, something that you thought was almost dead, that it cannot be, you know, be brought to life, is coming back to life. Amazing energy flowing in your relationships right now. It could mean a good time to repair broken relationships, to mend friendships. Or to make up if you haven't talked to someone for a long time and you left things off pretty in a bad spot, you know, pretty bad. And so this week, there's going to be that kind of energy flowing in within you. If you're compelled to talk to someone, if you're compelled to apologize to someone you know you've hurt in the past or recently, I feel like that there's a good chance that you both can repair the relationship. Or likewise, see, feel free to reverse the role. I feel like someone here could also be feeling compelled to talk to you to ask for an apology and to make things up with you. It's a beautiful overall energy. Okay, so let's now proceed with your tarot. So a lot of cards actually came out, but this one flipped, okay? The chariot card. So you could be dealing with a Cancerian. But with the chariot card, that talks about success. That talks about also your ability to move forward despite the difficult challenges in your environment. It is talking about your confidence and how bad you really want to make it happen. And if you put your mind and heart into something, it can happen, okay? That is the chart card. First row would be your energies, Pisces. Second row would be for the other person. If you are a cross watcher, feel free to reverse the roles here as well. And please bear in mind, these are all just general messages. If they do not resonate for you, choose another sign or watch another sign. But if they do, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. So I'm just going to quickly get a past or recent past card. So recently we have the Nine of Pentacles and then an outcome card. I'm not going to flip this over by the end or towards the end of the video. All right, so let's see what we have here for you. 
So um, Pisces, starting off this week, there's going to be that energy to move forward. Okay, if you had some bit of a trouble in the relationship area, um, it could have been a big or small fight, but there's just a misunderstanding that may have led up to an unforeseen breakup or a pause in the connection. I feel like this week things are going to start to move forward with the chart card. This really talks about how badly you want to make it happen, okay? And this also talks about your ability to see two sides of the story. Look at that uh, black and white sphinxes over there. So it's the ability to see both sides, okay? And you are aware that you have your own opinion, the other person has their own opinion, but it doesn't mean you can't work together. So it's using those dualities together and finding a sweet balance so that things can start to move forward, okay? So there's just that kind of burst of energy to get things done. I also see here with the Ace of Swords, you have an idea in mind, you want to communicate, and you also want to ask for the truth. It could be that you have already tried to communicate with this person who may have ghosted you in the past, the Hermit card, Pisces, and so or this week, they could still seem to be out of touch with you, but you have a desire to communicate to this person. If this is not your energy, I feel like this could be your energy as well, so just reverse the roles however it is convenient for you guys. But I do sense that someone here has finally made up their mind that they want a journey towards getting the other person back and return lines of communication, especially we have the regeneration card over here. and. It's, it's really a tough battle getting to this point because I feel like whoever this is, if this is your energy Pisces, you still could be experiencing some fears. Fear of maybe being rejected, fear of maybe not doing the right thing, or it could be a state of mental prison in which you think all of the things that could go wrong if you decide on acting on this situation. So there's also a message of practicing love, self-love, and being gentle with yourself with the temperance because the way your mind is thinking this week, there's just a lot of negativity. You could still be thinking about you're not good enough, you're not going to be able to you know, land success here, it is not the good idea, it is just going to end up hurting you more. All of those doubts and fears are actually making you feel paralyzed, like you don't have the power to decide on the situation or move past the situation so there's that kind of paralyzing energy with the eight of swords but please bear in mind this is not a true scenario of your reality it's only playing in your head so that's why you need divine energy divine power to process some healing in your mind and look at that halo on the angel right there i feel like this is angel gabriel there's that kind of enlightenment and that's what you need to heal your mind as well because what you feed is actually what's going to resonate more for you so if you feed on fear with fear then fear is just going to be more resounding than the positivity with the temperance you need to find some balance within you that yes there is bad and there's good but Getting two together to mix and find that sweet balance to move forward in life allows you to become a whole person. And that's what healing is all about. It's not running away from the problem, nor is it ignoring that certain fears exist, but not letting that win or take over. Rather, becoming still more positive and aligned, knowing that there's a higher source that is in control of your situation, but it's asking you to stay positive and be confident about your decision making chart card now for some of you i feel like you could also be having a short trip this week and so maybe that is your motivation to have a new beginning a new start with the ace of swords or just opening some lines of communication but it's like with the temperance card you need to also exert some patience if things don't go necessarily to your way right away because i feel like with the hermit card the person that you're dealing with is not easily opening up i feel like they're still clammed up for some reason with the hermit they're still going on a soul journey for themselves to contemplate to think about their their life to think about certain situations that they still haven't resolved in themselves so this person is in a journey of spiritual awakening and and i feel like they've isolated themselves because they want to they want to heal 
painful and traumatic experiences in their life. And so you have to understand whoever this is, it's not that they want to hurt you deliberately by not communicating with you, but it's like when they force a situation to happen, uh, they're not going to be the best person um, to give you what they, what you desire and what you want to happen. If this is a person who you haven't spoke to in a long time, uh, the cards are saying that they haven't done anything bad, but actually they have done a lot of introspection to understand their choices that led to led up to this point if they may have done something to hurt you in the past i feel like this person has realized that now okay and if they withdrew now uh, if they withdrew in the past from the connection i feel like this person is not maybe telling you of the trauma and lack of self-confidence perhaps in the past right to be the partner that you deserve it's like this person is fearing showing up to you for some reason. And so maybe you're upset why this person hurt you in the past. You're still upset with the chart card. You're still wanting the truth. Like, why did you leave the situation? Something like that. You want the truth because you want to heal. You want to recover. Maybe this regeneration, it doesn't only mean a second chance, but actually healing yourself to become whole once again by finding out the truth of why someone did this to you so that you can have some form of closure a spiritual healing that sense of becoming whole after such person hurt you in the past now where this person is at right now they're still not done with their healing process there's just a lot of layers that they need to go through in order to fix themselves up you see the nine of swords over here so both of you could be stuck in your head both of you have same fears but compared to you the energy that this person has right now is almost feeling like no one understands them. No one understands them enough. They can even understand what they're trying to, what they're, what they're going through here. But they're having the faith that everything will make sense sooner or later with the Hermit card. And so they're isolating themselves because they're no good being closer to you or being near you at this point. But with regeneration, it's only a matter of time until things can have a, a continuation or perhaps a proper closure because at this time as how i see it they're still conflicted about a lot of things they still haven't truly found the peace of mind the peace in their soul okay so that they can become who they were i feel like the reason why this person is not communicating with you is because they oftentimes feel like you wouldn't understand their reason that you both maybe are very different people you both have different backgrounds you may not agree on a lot of things and so they're trying to they're trying to like find their sense of identity because maybe this person not just with your relationship but how they did how how they were in previous relationships is they bended themselves too much for people they work their work so much they put in so much work for relationships and things in their life that ended up always disappointing and maybe this person did not receive a lot of love from people okay or that there's always that sense of um clashing with people so that may have discouraged this person to even socialize at all so they're still going through some self-healing is what i see so I feel like what you need maybe is the truth as to why they left the situation very, um, really messy. I felt like they left the situation quite messy. So you waited and you waited for this person to come around and explain maybe, or maybe you started to lose hope that they're ever going to come around. But at some point you knew that for proper closure and so that you can close the chapter of your life is that you need that last word from this person. Okay. For some of you who are deeply hurt, I feel like there's that kind of vengeful, but th this is just for a specific number of Pisces. You want some revenge of some sort, but it's like you're holding back because you know with the temperance, it's only going to be leading to a more uh, mental state of prison, you know, mental prison in your mind. If you allow this feeling of emotion or this emotion, I mean, to take over. So maybe the temperance card is you trying to heal your anger, your disappointment, or whatever. Uh, for some reason, you want some revenge over your situation. But that's just for a specific number of Pisces. So this person is still waiting as well for things to get better. Maybe they're trying to wait until you calm down or that things starting to clear. The air will be clear 
for them to come back around in your life or your social circle. So they're still thinking about you as well. They're thinking about what they've done or why things led up to this point. They're lacking sleep. I feel like this person is thinking about you constantly, almost to the point where, you know, they're punishing themselves. They blame themselves. I do feel that kind of energy. They blame themselves and they're lacking sleep. They cry at night. They feel guilty. They feel trapped as well. They want to move forward from this, but it's like it's a long process with the hermit. It's a lonely road as well. Okay, but they're doing this because they want to change. They want to have some transformation. So let's get an outcome card for this. And we have the full card. <laughs> Amazing. Whoa. So with the full card, I could read this two ways. It's either that um, you both are going to have a closure and start all over again, especially regeneration is here with the full card and the temperance. There's healing. There is starting all over again with the full card. But it only will happen if the two of you release some of the baggages, especially first with the way you think and certain conflicts that needs to be resolved. I feel like there's a chance, not for everyone, but a specific number of you who, th who you think that your spirit guides are compelling you and gravitating you towards this person and vice versa. So there might be a, an opportunity in the near future that this relationship could... Um, could have a continuation i'm gonna get a clarifier for the full card but for some of you it could be you going on a new journey and leaving all of this behind so that you can heal yourself and be in a journey of self-love finding that that your identity you know finding who you are what you love and become free to pursue a new chapter this goes for the same for the other person as well pisces Clarify the full card, please. Three of Cups. So they're going to try to offer a friendship with you. They're going to try to like be in your social circle again. If this is not a romantic partner, then this could be someone you have fought with, have some arguments with. A friendship may have died, okay? And so it's going to resurface. There's going to be another chance. But that's if you decide on it too. But there's still tension that I feel here, both of you, from your ends. But I do sense someone is guilty. And so they need to heal the guilt as well so they can free themselves from all of that. And you free yourself from anger or maybe feeling worthless, you know? Because you're not truly stuck in this situation. You can really free yourself from this. And we have the devil. So, yeah, I did say free yourself. So this situation is already some form of entrapment for both people or both sides. So this, to me, talks about the need to really heal. You see on your end, you have the temperance and the hermit. Two of these cards talk about journey for spiritual healing and awakening. Because what this was in the beginning, or this whole journey, is all about healing a devil energy that's playing out in the connection. It could have been some addiction, some bad behaviors, bad patterns, or hurting each other, you know, violent violence and and really just destroying each other because of this relationship i feel that with the five of wands it was beautiful in the beginning though i feel like you both took a chance with this there was a lot of love a lot of respect for one another but at some point you hurt each other so with that said let time serve its purpose and then focus on your healing as well this week pisces um it's all about focusing on your spiritual awakening and establishing a sense of identity, letting go of maybe, for all you know, the anger is what's making you trap in the connection, the devil energy. That anger is what's fueling your desire for revenge for some reason or get back to this person. And likewise, this person is also trapped, see, with their loneliness, with their sense of guilt. So however it, it resounds with you guys, all in all, that kind of heavy in your chest in your mind in your soul is paralyzing both of you guys and that could be also an entrapment so allow time for healing to let go of the attachment and let go of the baggages that is making you both feel this way okay so that is your reading pisces i wish you guys all the best best please meditate on this reading i'll talk to you soon